well. As you can see guys, we are in the midst of a very heavy hailstorm. And right now this is the exact type of weather where the Suzuki's all grip system comes into its own. That's just open the uh, panoramic sunroof to. Uh, give it as much light as possible. So, air conditioning on because um, it's completely steamed up. Blast up that temperature. Blast up that. Turning on the rear heated windscreen as well. Right, so what there is these guys, sorry for the noise. Um, on the ground there's a thick layer of really, really slippery hailstones. They hit stay at hailstones and like the ice type, the landing and smashing on the floor which is um, going to make some interesting driving. Wow. Let's go. Good high definition reverse camera there. Feel it slipping underneath the floor. As soon as they accelerate, you can feel the front wheel slip, and then immediately the rears are, are cutting in and gripping. Um, this weather is exactly the type. Well, while this is all grip all the time, as in it will cut in when it needs it. The best thing for this is to put it into snow mode. That will give us more grip, and um, let's just test this briefly. Solid, absolutely amazing. It just accelerates, and there's no real loss of grip. And that's a very slippery slide. If I break, absolutely spectacular. Wow. I've had a chance in the snow to test this, but it was a long time ago, the old grip system, and it's been further improved since uh, the S-Cross. And this is the, exactly the type of driving that um, someone would do, one of these vehicles on average will do, you know, slippery conditions. We've gone from sunny weather to this, and this is where old grip comes into its own. There you go, I'm just accelerating and absolutely no or very very little loss of grip. I can just feel it squirming underneath when I'm braking and turning. You can feel it from wheels sliding the road. how it feels actually guys to accelerate it feels pretty much the same as accelerating um, on a dry road and that is no no word of a lie that's how good this system is the steering wheel isn't kicking about too much which sometimes can be the case um, in 
these electronic all-wheel drive systems but this one is doing absolutely fine it's not kicking about and as soon as there's any type of loss of grip underneath the wheels the rear are kicking in and it's strong it's doing it strongly as well and I can feel it sliding just then as I'm turning into normal mode, let's see all the, what the difference is. It's still very good, but there's not quite the security of the, the snow and mud mode. Turning absolutely great, it's a very composed little car to drive this in normal conditions and in the snow. As we've got here, that's massive hailstones um, wow I'm really really impressed with this system look at the car in front I don't know if you can see that but his wheels are constantly slipping as I was trying to get out of that junction now I'm gonna do the same I'll show you how it is and that's me giving it some good acceleration deliberately just to try and put the system off balance just to try and get those wheels spinning, spinning. absolutely nope it won't do it that's how good it is and by the way these tyres are summer tyres that we've got on fitted to this they are not winter tyres not all season tyres at all summer tyres so it's starting to turn to like a mush now which is always when it gets really slippery if you've got a lot of standing water underneath guys um like the majority of roads actually let's just go down here the majority of main roads will probably be clear by now oh yeah it's very deep round here not many cars coming again just the tiniest slip from the front and we're then away and it's gripping. Here it underneath. Actually this will be a good test guys. This is a main road. I didn't I thought these would be clear. It's not. People don't like travelling on these when they're in this condition. We haven't had any snow all winter, so this is the perfect proving ground. Because people do not know how to drive. Again, probably one to two seconds of slip, if that. And we have a secure feeling in this car. I'm just going to make sure my lights are on. Looks like it could actually come down some more. They say you should clean your roof, and I'm entirely in agreement with that, but unfortunately, <laughs> that has actually gathered on the roof while I've been driving. Can't stop every few seconds to clear it, so I'm just going to use the windscreen wipers. If I get a bit of acceleration, it might come off the back. now is sort of a lot of standing water driving it's not massively deep but if you get enough speed up it will flick you all over the place this stuff
give that the beans as it were just to get out of that junction and it was just like driving uh, on a rainy day nothing more not the fact that there's some thick slush underneath the wheels of the vehicle that's pulling out of that little junction where it'll get out of there 